I was recruited through a joint effort between the Mind Institute and the Genome Center, and so the goal of the recruitment was to merge together genetic and genomic methods applied to autism, and so from the beginning I've been a faculty member. In my research, I think one of the main goals that I have is to develop better and higher throughput methods to be able to functionally validate the mutations that we identify. So recently we've been sequencing thousands of kids who have autism spectrum disorder. As you know, the disorder is highly heterogeneous. Many genes cause, contribute and cause um, the disorder, but it's really uh, uncertain, you know, the specific mutations and what they do. And so even though we're able to identify all these mutations and all these genes, we aren't actually sure that they cause disease. I'm currently developing a zebrafish resource to be able to knock out genes relatively rapidly and robustly and be able to test them. For me, my goal is to try to first get the model up and running, but then be able to expand this and do this in as many genes as possible. The purpose of this is to improve diagnostic testing for the disorder and ultimately to improve treatment. And so fish are a really great model system for large-scale drug screens, and so it would be a great way to be able to find new molecules that could potentially be used to treat various aspects of autism. I'm really interested in basic science and understanding mechanisms of biology, but ultimately I'd like to apply what I learn um, to actually make changes um, in the way that we can treat and diagnose patients. And so, for sure, that is hands down the part that drives me to perform my research and inspires me to continue.